Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel for the first time. Um, it has been about a year and a half since I released my last video, aka my first set of, I think it was three videos, but um, I've been meaning to get back to uh, releasing some content and talking about uh, stuff that's related to songwriting and beginning songwriting and uh, home recording and beginning the process of home recording so you know work it guts gets <laughs> work guts in the way work gets in the way life gets in the way um, school gets in the way uh, so anyways I can make one excuse after another but the fact is I'm back I'm making more videos and um, I have multiple sheets of paper down here that I have been for over the last you know four to five months more than that probably writing down ideas that when I you know once I get back to my channel I plan on talking about because they're ideas that I feel passionate about or that I think uh, is an interesting topic to bring up and that can help out somebody who might be in a rut or just concepts in general about writing and recording so uh, the first video I'm doing in 2020 it's um, as you've seen the title it's five benefits of writing music um, I'm just going to talk my opinion about why I think writing music can be important in somebody's life. Um, and they might not seem like very meaningful things, and you know, this isn't about making money, this isn't about uh, becoming a famous songwriter, but this is about the benefits that anybody who starts songwriting can uh, feel within a day, two days, you know, you don't have to become hugely successful to get these so-called benefits of writing music. So let's start out. Number one, um, to me, writing music gives you a great creative and artistic release. And what I what that means to me is I feel as though almost everybody in the entire world has a need or has a want or a feeling of um, gratification when they create something. That might be anything from music to uh, painting to drawing to uh, working on cars, to making jewelry, something that's creative. My point is, is that when you create something, you took something that didn't exist in the world, in the entire universe, and you introduced that new concept or new piece of artwork or whatever it might be to the universe. And I think that's such a gratifying feeling because uh, it's not every day, even though you do have the option to do it almost every day, it's not every day that you get to create something new, literally something that has never existed uh, in the span of time. So I think that's one of the reasons that writing music can be so gratifying, is it's literally something that can last forever and something that didn't exist before you uh, before you created it. And that goes along with you know pretty much any piece of anything that's uh, creative and art artistic, but to me, music is a very fulfilling way to, to create something. Thing. And um, I think the more you start to write music, the more you start to record, you're going to start to understand and realize um, why writing music feels so fulfilling because it is such a great release of emotions. But I'm going to get to that a little bit later. Number two, it's a brain exercise. Uh, writing and working on music really does exercise the brain. It's kind of like doing homework and doing brain, you know, brain teasers, whatever those are called, but in a much more fun and entertaining way. Uh, I know some of you might be the academic type and might like to do homework, but I'm not and I've never been that type of person. So what I get from music is it, uh, you know, it exercises the brain. It forces you to sit down and concentrate on something. And it's at the same time as you're exercising your brain, you're actually getting emotional release from it. If you have pent up energy and anger towards somebody or, or uh, passion towards somebody or someone broke your heart, you can, you know, get that kind of double benefit of releasing emotion and, um, also exercising the brain and exercises the brain because like anything else that is structured in life it forces you to follow a structure to an extent and figure out there's a lot of problem solving within music within writing music and I think the problem solving aspect of writing music can uh, be very beneficial for the brain and it keeps your brain not dormant it keeps it very active even if that's you um, if it's something like sitting in your bed at the end of the night writing, working on lyrics or poetry, um, I think it's very beneficial for the brain. It's a little bit better than sitting down and watching movies all day, um, which I also love to do. But anyways, number three, writing for other people. I don't mean writing for other people professionally, although that could be an eventual benefit from it. I mean writing for other people, writing for loved ones. I think people don't realize that you can actually write music and uh, create music for other people as a gift. I know I had a friend... Uh, a couple years ago recently who moved from California where we lived and we were childhood friends and he moved all the way to uh, Florida and I wrote a song for him and um, I'm not going to get into what the song was about but no there's a little motion behind it and he had been a friend of mine since third grade so me and my buddies were going to miss him so I thought as a little parting gift I'd write him a uh, I'd write him a piece of music so I quickly recorded it in a couple days and 
Not the best piece of recording I've ever done, but I sent it to him and his parents and they listened to it on the way. Uh, they actually drove cross country. They listened to it um, either on the way to Florida or by the time they got there. And it was really nice to know that I could express the way I felt towards somebody or towards somebody leaving without just saying it in words. Because when, when you write, when you say something in music, there's definitely a different effect. Now, I'm not, if you care about someone, I'm not saying to write them a song over and over and over and over again. Because at a certain point, it's going to miss and it's going to lose that emotional effect and it's going to you know be too much. But... Uh, it really does, it does mean a lot to people. Um, and I'm not saying to write a song for someone that has to be someone you're in love with because generally I've never done that. But writing a song for a friend, it's just something that's not expected. That's not a gift that somebody expects. So it can be such a cool thing. Anyways, uh, that's a very, you know, that's a personal experience for me. That's one thing I don't think very many people would even consider when starting to write music. But, you know, you can actually write for other people. Uh, let's see, number four, stress and emotional release. This is a huge, huge benefit to writing music for me and I think for most people that do it. Um, stress release, I think, I think so many people are, you know, have anxiety and are stressed out and even if you don't have anxiety, just being stressed out and having a hard work day or whatever, a hard day at school or, you know, a relationship that's been, been tough on you, getting a way to, an additional way to, to release stress and to release emotions is really, really beneficial and actually healthy for you. Um, let me give you an example of why I think it's a stress and emotional release. Let's say, let's go the, the relationship route, right? Let's say you've had a relationship that recently went bad, you broke up with them, they broke up with you, whatever it might be. A great way to express how you feel without uh, having to you know, tell somebody about it is to sit down and write a song, write the lyrics, write the music, and it can really help you feel um, kind of alleviated, I think that's the right word, alleviated of, of the issue. It can kind of give you a temporary, uh, you know, helping hand to, to get through what you're feeling or if something happened in your life recently and you, you know, that you're unhappy about or even that you're happy about and you can write about it and it's just a, another way to get it down, you know? I mean, there's other ways to do it. You can call a friend and talk about it. You can write it in your journal. You can vlog about it, whatever it might be. But songwriting is, a, I think, an underrated way to uh, deal with stress and to deal with stuff, real life issues that you're that you're going through. And when you write, the, when you write a song about something like that, um, might be something that you would never ever show anybody, but just getting it down on a piece of paper or on recording, uh, you know, recording on your phone or re home doing a full on production of it at your home, you know, home studio or studio or wherever, it can be a very, uh, very um, fulfilling way to deal with emotions, anxiety, stress, happiness, anger. Anyways, the last one, number five, I wrote down music is a universal language. This one is gonna be pretty short. Um, I think this relates to a lot of the other stuff I was saying. Um, you, you know, music is literally a universal language. You go on YouTube and you go to Spotify, wherever you listen to your music, and you can listen to music created by anybody from any part of the globe, any part of the country. It doesn't matter what language they speak. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's a guy, if it's a girl. It doesn't matter what race, race ethnicity they are. Uh, at the end of the day, when someone creates music and it touches you in a certain way and you feel something from it, the fact is it doesn't matter where it came from. The fact is, is that it speaks to you. Not literally speaks to you, but it emotionally speaks speaks to you and um, you know I wrote music is a universal language because it doesn't you know doesn't matter if you speak the same language as somebody if you sit down with somebody one day and you know how to play the guitar or you sing to somebody it doesn't honestly to at a certain point it doesn't matter if you know what language they're singing or uh, what they are what they are saying music can really touch people much like a painting it doesn't matter the origin of that painting um, if you look at a painting and you like the way it looks and it makes you feel something and you want to hang it in your house, it doesn't matter where it started. I'm not saying a person shouldn't get credit for, for creating it, but at the end of the day, if it makes you feel something, it makes you feel something, you know, regardless of the origin. Um, and that's going to wrap it up, guys. Those are five reasons I've been kind of thinking out, thinking about and, and planning out. Um, and I honestly think if you are thinking about writing music or you just started writing music or you've been writing music for years, Keep on doing it. Start doing it. Uh, it can really benefit your life in a lot of ways. And you can even use it kind of as a way of meditation. And it can be very uh, fulfilling when you sit back and you look over, like over the last year, I wrote this, 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 and this. And um, I think it's something that a lot of people might not think that they can do right away, but learn some chords. I'm going to make some other videos about how to start songwriting. Um, so hopefully those will be up. But um, 
that's it guys the five reasons uh, five benefits of writing music uh, so subscribe if you haven't subscribed I'm gonna try to stay on top of releasing some more videos I appreciate you guys watching this if you have any opinions or questions comment below I try to respond to as many as I can um, even if you disagree with anything I'm saying or if you have you know a number six or a number seven idea I would love to hear it because I would love to learn from you guys too so I appreciate it guys like and subscribe if you feel like it, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.